Hello, welcome to Copic in the Craft Room. Michelle Houghton here. I have a brand new set from Craft and Kimmy, and these are the Happy Hummingbirds. And I have stamped out a couple of the little hummingbirds and sentiments from the set. It has a beautiful group of images to work with and sentiments. And then I also have stamped two of the little birds onto some sticky notes, and I'm using those to mask. So what I did is I stamped those on a piece of paper and I masked them off and then I used the brand new Chubby Cloud stencil to you and used um, Nouveau Glimmer Paste and I spread that over the top of those areas and the post-it notes protected the little birds so they don't have any of the glimmer paste on them even though the clouds kind of went over that stamped area. Now I did put that glimmer paste over the sentiment and you're going to see near the end. It's a little hard to read, so I tried to do a little correction there. But in the future, I might might avoid the sentiment. I thought it was going to dry a little bit more clear. Then I've got a set of Copics. And this is a group of colors that my friend Amanda used on a hummingbird last year. So I'm giving them a try. And I don't exactly know how she used them, so you're going to see me experimenting as I go but it has a group of fluorescents in there as well. So I'm gonna start with a YG01, so not fluorescent, but it, it's fairly bright and fluorescent in and of itself, and I'm starting on the wings and a little on the face, and I'm just gonna fill in some areas and build up color. Hummingbirds are fun because they have all sorts of wild color combinations and so you can really experiment and play with color on these little guys. So fluoresc fluorescent, sorry, YG2 is next. So it's going to be marked with an F, YG, and then 2. Remember the fluorescents are some of the oddballs in the coloring system. And I'm doing that kind of with a squiggle or a dot and then softening those edges right away with the YG01. YG09 comes in in some of those spots, kind of edging out some of those areas, little dots again, small squiggles, just really touching down that marker. So I'm using very light, um, light little pieces as I go through this to start. Fluorescent blue green too is next and I'm adding that in quite a few little spots and then you're going to see me start adding quite a few more um, blues and violets here in a few seconds onto the body and the chest of the bird, the chest and wings, sorry. B66 is next. Right, so there was a little back and forth there. I added in a fluorescent violet two and also a B79. Now I'm switching over to the longer um, feathers on the bird's wings and I've got a B60 and I'm coming in with an F 
RV1. So this is like crazy fluorescent pink. And I'm doing that from the tips of the wings in and then coming back with that B60 from the kind of bottom edge of the wings out. Now you're gonna see me go back and forth in this area a lot. I love that idea of that bright pink at the tips, but I had trouble working with the colors that Amanda listed. So I really adjusted what I did here um, to make it look like something that I was pleased with. So you're gonna see me go back and forth between a lot of those wing colors to, to get this to a place that I really like. that fluorescent RV on the beak and then I added BV25 to the tip and I'm softening that with the fluorescent pink again and I'm heading back over to the tail and onto the wings to play a little bit more back and forth with those colors so I'm still just not it's kind of making my teeth itch um, and so I'm not really happy with that so again you're just getting to see me play with that group of markers. So happier now, I'm pulling my mask, my little post-it note back out. So I'm using it a second time. And now I'm going to airbrush that background. So I'm using the Copic ABS, or better known as the Copic airbrush system. And I've got a B12 that I'm plugging into that. And I'm just gonna do a smooth background. Um, Nice, smooth, even strokes going all the way across the page. Notice I go all the way off the page and I start off the page as well. That's gonna make it so that those edges are just the same as the center of the paper. I do go back and forth a few times across most areas. I'm holding it about, the actual tip is about six, eight inches away from the paper. Maybe a little closer at times, but most of the time it's there. And then, I'm gonna use Copic Colorless Blender, just the solution in a spray bottle, and I spritz that on a paper towel, and I'm dabbing at that Nouveau Glitter Mist, or Glitter Paste, sorry, and I'm pulling the ink off of the clouds because they're a little bit more non-porous. I can't really sit and scrub them because I know that the alcohol would get in there and kind of mess that up but I can lift the ink off. So I'm really just pressing down. A cotton cloth would actually probably work better. But I can pull my hummingbird off and he's now in this bright blue cloudy sky. So I go back a few times with the colorless blender to get more ink off those clouds, um, but it turns out pretty sweet. And I ended up putting it together on a card, kept it really, really simple with just white card stock. I embossed one sheet with that um, chubby cloud stencil and created kind of a window for my little bird and it turned out really nice. Thank you so much for joining me today. As always, please ask any Copic questions or about this video or Copic in general underneath in the comments and I'll try to get back to you pretty quickly. I tend to be here at least once a week, if not more a couple times, especially if I see a question come in through my email. Um, 
If you haven't had a chance or don't know about it, we also have a Facebook page that includes a lot of Copic inspiration, linking you to all sorts of fun blogs out there. Just want to say a big thank you again to Craft and Kimmy. Thanks for letting me play along again with your new release. I am loving it. And make sure to stop by also my blog at www.scrapweaver.com for all of my latest doings. I hope you all have a happy, colorful day.